All this month, Chase to the Town has a twist. CBS 4's Lisa Petrillo is dining out with one of our own. Yeah, and this time, Lisa and Rick Fulbaum visit a hidden gem in Miami that is truly hidden. It's a place where many come to gas up their cars and fuel up their bodies. A hidden gem that has long been the talk of the town is now the taste of the town. Yes, just inside the mobile on 17th Avenue in US 1 is where CBS 4's Rick Fulbam and I discovered El Carajo. I've been hearing about El Carajo for the last three years since we moved to South Florida. I'm so glad to finally be here. It's a first for both of us. Well, welcome. It's a family owned business that began as a gas station when Carlos Fonseca's dad bought it in 1981. In the early 90s, he started selling fine wines here. In 2006, it became a full fledged restaurant with Spanish inspired dishes. The name El Carajo has inspired some controversy. The name actually means the crow's nest of the ship. I know some people have heard some other things, we but have. those are the second, third, fourth definition. Inside, you can buy motor oil, cigars, goodies from the bakery, as well as wines from all over the world. I like it. I like it. It's light. It's super light and smooth. Very it's good. Perfect mix. Fill her up. <laughs> exactly. The look and feel is a world away. We wanted to kind of transport people as they walked in. So outside, it looks like a traditional gas station. As soon as you walk in, it looks a little bit nicer. We totally. have the painted interior. And when you walk inside, many people end up forgetting that they're in a gas station. They forget that they're in Miami. All the dark wood and all the wines around them reminds them of a Tosca in Spain. We begin with tapas, a sharing plate called the tableau de carne, or meat plate, filled with ribs, chicken, pork chops, and churrasco. It's amazing. Really nice flavor, really so nice tender. char, right? Mm -hmm. Really good. Not over sauced, pure. Can I have another bite? Have another bite, okay. keep going. We thoroughly enjoyed the plate, and when it was time to describe the tasty sausage, I needed an off-camera minute, but Rick called me out. No cutting. Uh -uh. Everybody should see this. Every time I watch the Taste of the Town pieces, Lisa is so delicate, and she's such a, so ladylike when she's tasting food. There's some outtakes on it. <laughs> no outtakes for me while enjoying the tender, delicious, boiled and sautéed sliced octopus, or for Rick while enjoying his shrimp sautéed in garlic and butter. Some crushed red pepper gives it a little bit of heat. I like that very much. It's delicious. It's great. All these guys want my job. See how well they describe the food? <laughs> Our delicious lunch ends with a flaky puff pastry cake with layers of dolce de leche and a coffee with caramel that melts your heart. I'm happy. You happy? Very happy. So glad to finally get here. El Carajo is open seven days a week, lunch and dinner. And brunch on the weekends, and the wine shop is open 24 hours. With a special taste of the town with my friend Rick here, I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS 4 News. Can I just say yum? <laughs> <laughs>